بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم and welcome back to your essay writing and presentation skills class today we are to begin with our lecture number 20th in which we are going to thoroughly discuss the literature essay to give you a good news this essay type is going to be the last essay type that we are going to discuss and that we are going to practice during our essay writing skills so to begin with let's quickly recap that what we have done in our previous lecture so far we uh, discussed thoroughly uh, what uh, usually or what do you call an expository essay. Uh, remember we said that an expository essay is a kind of an essay uh, which revolves around two major things. Uh, the first thing is explaining and the other one is that um, how it is uh, so these two things uh, are going to uh, be the main focus of once you are trying to expose uh, something any personal experience of yours or any event or any incident in front of the audience we have also learned in the previous lecture about the expository essay that what are the key words that show it is an expository essay that one I have already told you the words are explain and how it is then we have discussed the structure of expository writing, uh, any expository um, uh, prompt that you try to write or any exposition that you have picked up to write down. Um, uh, to uh, do so, uh, you are supposed to stick to all those classical conventions of writing essays um, uh, because uh, for every, for making every essay a formal one, you are supposed to stick to uh, introducing one introduction, then uh, you are supposed to provide the support details remember particularly talking about the uh, expository essay you are supposed to write down and you are supposed to insert those details to uh, those evidences which are factual and which provide you with the factual information for the reader so in this way you can write down one good expository essay for your audience uh, now uh, we also discussed one uh, brainstorming technique of PACO uh, P stands for purpose A stands for audience uh, C stands for the content and O stands for the organization of the content uh, and the organization of the evidences and the organizations of thought uh, thoughts that is there uh, in your essay so uh, this is what we had been discussing discussing in the previous lecture about evidentiary uh, about expository essay that how to write one exposition then we also discussed some of the steps for writing down the expository essay um, then uh, we also uh, discussed thoroughly as we uh, in every lecture we talk about different key points to be considered uh, while writing one good exposition and then there are some do's and don'ts uh, and then um, there are some common mistakes can uh, which can be avoided to make your exposition look good and uh, acceptable and appealing for your audience logic. In the end, we uh, ended up our previous lecture by uh, discussing one example which was related to the influences of culture um, uh, on the society. So uh, this is how we uh, have thoroughly discussed that how uh, you can make and how you can create one good uh, uh, exposition for uh, your audience. Uh, so to begin with, today we are to discuss uh, one last type of essay that is literature essay. Uh, uh, first of all, we will look into the definition of uh, uh, the literature essay and how do you uh, define literature essay for your audience so the first thing that we are going to focus on is that what is literature essay the essay dealing with a piece of writing uh, any piece of writing any piece of uh, uh, fiction uh, that can be uh, addressed while writing uh, a good literature essay that is a novel a short story or an article whatever uh, you want to pick up uh, for uh, any piece of fiction or non-fiction that you want to pick up for writing down one literature essay to do so you are supposed to work on some uh, major points uh, you are not going to particularly talk about the whole uh, uh, novel or you are not going to particularly talk about the whole play you are going to pick up only one chunk of it uh, to see that how uh, successfully you can write one essay on because as we have discussed that every essay carries a limit and every essay focuses on one particular length uh, that can be carried out or that can deliver your point to the audience so remember we were also discussing that how you can write a five paragraph essay uh, beginning with the introduction then three main body parts uh, which are uh, which uh, provide you with the supporting details uh, that are being elaborated in your introduction uh, thesis statement and then your conclusion in the end uh, which is 
is uh, interrelated to your uh, topic sentence and that provide uh, information to the audience clearly so this is how you write five paragraph essay that should not be very lengthy uh, to make your audience bored and uh, um, uh, you know uh, uh, kind of tired of uh, with whatever you are writing so there should not be so much of the details uh, uh, your details can be elaborated and your details can be defined but in a very concise and clear way we have also discussed the, uh, this element of clarity and conciseness in our uh, essays as to make sure that how you can work on one uh, good uh, essay uh, type and how you can produce one good essay material. Now, uh, 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 we, uh, coming back to your literature essay, as I said that essay dealing with a piece of writing, any piece of writing, for example, if you pick up any novel, uh, you would uh, specifically pick up one element of the novel to be worked on. Like for example, either you work on the plot, either you work on the settings, uh, either you work on, on, on only one uh, basic uh, character who is the protagonist or anti uh, antagonist or something like that so this is how you pick up one uh, particular element of any novel any poem any a uh, short story any article any report uh, to make sure that you are going to write one essay on it thoroughly now a literature essay uh, most commonly presupposes some kind of analysis so uh, this analysis going to be uh, your uh, personal analysis of any piece of literature or any work of art that you want to uh, discuss uh, in your paper. Now uh, that very uh, piece of art that you are discussing in your paper should carry those elements uh, which uh, uh, make your essay um, uh, uh, evidentiary. Now uh, in other words you can say that you are going to quote from the text to make sure that all the information that you are providing you are not talking in the year or you are not taking your or you are not diverging the attention of your reader uh, towards something else so your uh, literature es essay should focus on the content that is written in any piece of literature that you have picked up uh, uh, for analysis um, uh, so uh, focus on these things and this is how we define one literature essay that it is uh, or it presupposes some kind of analysis of any piece of literature that can be a novel that can be a short story that can be a poem that can be any article that can be any report so any fiction or non-fiction element that is there uh, can be uh, written down uh, as one literature essay now um, uh, uh, again coming back to the definition of literature essay uh, literature essay is an essay that shows writers understanding of authors point of view and ability to explain it in a bright way now uh, in other words if you try to elaborate what we have discussed in the previous slide uh, literature essay focuses on uh, elaborating or showing writers understanding of authors point of view uh, and the ability to explain it in a bright right way now your main focus is to uh understand the author's point of view uh, the author of the novel the uh, uh, poet of the poem uh, the author of the writer of the drama or a play uh, the writer of any essay like uh, uh, Barnett Russell and uh, other famous and renowned people like him uh, so you your focus should be that what exactly the author the uh, uh, genuine author of any piece of literature wants to depict in his essay and your focus would be to uh, develop your understanding of uh, what writer has to say now whatever writer has said in his uh, um, piece of literature you are supposed to rewrite uh, his uh, um, uh, point of view in your own words uh, in a very bright way means that you are supposed to uh, mingle uh, your ideas with the uh, with that uh, one of the original ideas of the author so your uh, literature essay would be then uh, an analysis that is a combination of uh, your point of view as well as uh, the uh, original point of view of uh, that is coming from the author of uh, any piece of literature that you have picked up for writing down one good literature essay on. So I hope that you have understood the uh, uh, that how do we define uh, literature essay. Now moving on to the next slide we will talk about different parts of literature essay that uh, uh, how you you can uh, categorize or how you can uh, divide your essay into different parts now first of all uh, your um, uh, like every essay you have your introduction 
Now your introduction part poses a question and presents the thesis statement. Like every uh, uh, other kind of essay, uh, your uh, introduction focuses on uh, presenting the main argument or the main question or the main thought of uh, uh, whatever you are going to write in the supporting details. Uh, so that will uh, basically in other words will provide and will focus on the thesis statement of uh, your essay. While uh, the conclusion summarizes it. As as we have uh, already uh, have been discussing earlier that these two uh, of them uh, your introduction and your conclusion both of them they are interrelated to one another in a way that you are going to work on them from um, your point of view and you are going to link both of them for the writers uh, for the readers understanding so yes this introduction and this conclusion both of them uh, they work on your thesis statement that is presented in your uh, introduction and that is proved or summarized in your uh, conclusion so both of them they are interrelated and they are well connected to each other now it is uh, possible to emphasize why the topic of literature review is important in conclusion keeping the style of an essay formal so your main uh, goal should be to uh, keep uh, the essay style uh, literature essay style formal as to make sure that you are not going to uh, digress uh, from your main thesis statement because that is a serious question that you are going to ponder on while you pick up any piece of literature uh, uh, to uh, write uh, any uh, uh, work on or any text on so uh, this text combination is basically going to be your uh literature uh, 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 literature essay that you are going to uh, basically produce one today so let's see the next slide and try to see that what uh, are we supposed to do um, uh, while we uh, intend to write one good literature essay so the first thing that you are supposed to keep in mind and the first thing that we usually do while uh, writing down one literature essay is to begin with the introduction now uh, while you uh, start writing your introduction make sure that you are brief your introduction should be a brief one uh, in other words you are going to make sure that you are going to elaborate and uh, define your uh, topic statement in a, such a way that is going to be helpful and beneficial for your audience to understand that what are the uh, what your supporting details will talk about and then what your essay will lead to now um, uh, your introduction should give some suggestion of the direction you intend to take in your essay now uh, whatever uh, question or whatever thesis statement that you have drawn for your uh, essay would come in the introduction that would guide the reader towards uh, what direction you are going in and what uh, exactly you want to achieve after writing this essay indicate the aspects of the work you intend to deal with so you are going to indicate uh, all those um, aspects of book uh, all those elements that you want to focus on while writing one good literature essay so your introduction should be a brief one that should clearly define um, in a very precise way so uh, see there are two things that are kept, uh, supposed to be kept in mind while writing one good uh, introduction the first one is uh, uh, to be for being precise uh, that is uh, focuses on the conciseness and the second thing is uh, to make it uh, clear for the uh, understanding of your audience that is to make uh, or write your uh, arguments with clarity so uh, whatever suggestions you are giving your thesis uh, statement should clarify uh, by uh, clarify in front of the audience that what uh, direction you would go in uh, uh, we should underline this word also because you are taking your audience somewhere um, uh, uh, around uh, and you are going to you know give them a round of some particular place so you are going to make sure that you are not going to digress from your uh, uh, basic uh, point and the second thing that you are supposed to keep in mind is to make it very very brief and to make it very very uh, short terse and concise uh, to be read quickly uh, by your audience so that was the first thing that you are supposed to keep in mind while writing one good uh, before you plan for uh, writing one literature essay once that you have picked up any topic for writing down one good literature essay uh, you can decide on you can ponder on uh, how to write the introduction essay by setting down the th uh, topic statement for your uh, literature essay 
The second thing that you are supposed to keep in mind is uh, paraphrasing. Uh, now paragraphing, uh, sorry, paragraphing is something uh, that we are supposed to do in every kind of essay or every type of essay that we pick up to write on. Now in your plan you should uh, identify very clearly around six distinct points you intend to make and the specific parts of the text that you uh, intend to examine uh, in some detail. Now uh, there is something uh, specific about uh, picking up the elements for um, any piece of literature that you want to work on so this uh, specificness of any uh, piece of literature has to do with the elements uh, or uh, um, uh, whatever you intend to examine in some detail are supposed to be kept in mind while you intend to uh, write down one good literature essay so uh, as I said that it should revolve around the six uh, distinct points um, uh, it means that you are supposed to divide uh, your uh, literature essay uh, by providing the six different uh, uh, supporting details being presented in different paragraphs so there should be six at least six basic arguments to be discussed in your literature essay when you want to pick up one for writing down one good essay on when writing your essay you should devote one or two paragraphs to each point try to make smooth links between paragraphs now kohayan is again important you are going to um, uh, devote one or two paragraphs to each point if you feel that uh, if you are you know crossing the uh, that actual limit of the paragraph you should make sure that in, uh, in that very uh, limit of the paragraph you are unable to deliver your argument or present your argument in front of the reader you must make sure that you are going to divide uh, your major paragraph into the sub, -para sub paragraph as to see that how uh, well you can work to make your uh, um, audience understand that what um, points you want to discuss with them uh, throughout your uh, literature essay so uh, first thing was introduction that we have discussed that how are you supposed to prepare for the introduction or write down the introduction for uh, your literature essay the second thing that you are supposed to remember is to uh, decide on uh, the paragraphing uh, maybe you can uh, pick up six distinct points on you can work on and uh, maybe uh, you can uh, write down one or two paragraphs for each of the point that you have discussed in uh, uh, or you want to or you have elaborated in your outline or uh, during your pre-writing technique to be elaborated in your uh, essay thoroughly uh, once you decide to write down your draft number one so uh, look, moving on to the third point you must provide the evidence um, now this evidence uh, is very important uh, while we talk about any literature essay because uh, 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 you provide evidence from the literature or you quote it from the literature to support uh, that element that you have picked up to write your uh, analysis on uh, now when you make a point you must prove it so uh, once you uh, deliver your understanding that you have understood the writer's point of view and then you try to give your own analysis on how writer has tried to explain it you must make sure that you must prove it uh, how do you prove it um, uh, you prove it with the evidence that you are supposed to uh, present in front of the audience while keeping in mind the uh uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, importance of uh, using it so you are supposed to prove your argument by providing the ev evidence for example just as a lawyer as you can really well see on the slide as well uh, in court must produce evidence to support his case so you must produce evidence to prove the comments you make about so uh, you uh, just like the lawyer uh, in the court he tries to prove his argument or pro prove his evidence uh, to support his case uh, and he provides with the factual information and evidences in, in the light of evidences he tries to pr prove uh, that his uh, candidate um, um, is uh, has not committed a murder has not uh, uh, done this murder or something like that so uh, uh, in the light of those evidences he try to prove his argument just is the case with writing down one good literature essay that the uh, topic statement that you you have picked or the question that you have uh, picked to be answered while writing one literature essay should be proved uh 
thoroughly by providing the evidences throughout your essay. Now, uh, your comments um, or your evidences can be related to characters, can be related to the relationships, themes, styles, and so on and so forth. When you make a point, refer to the set text. So, whenever you are going to make any point, um, uh, you are going to prove it by referring back to the text uh, that is only major source for providing or for proving uh, whatever you are saying is right. Give an example to support what you say, better still use a quote. So this quote is real important when you intend to write down one good um, uh, literature essay. Now that we have talked about at, uh, the introduction and we have also talked about the uh, paragraphing and then we have also pro, uh, talked about the providing the evidences in your literature essay. Now let's move on to how do you provide quotes as we said that while providing evidence you are the best idea is that you provide uh, as it is quotes from the uh, that piece of literature that you have picked up for the analysis. Now remember to lay out quotes correctly start a line and intend like this. Now uh, this is one uh, graph that you can very well see if you intend to write down one quote in your text. Now, now this is uh, the text of your uh, essay. Uh, the text uh, that is in your own words that you are intending to write. This is the quote uh, being uh, taken from uh, the uh, uh, piece of literature on which you are working, any element on you are working. Now see there are these uh, parentheses and these uh, inverted commas uh, which uh, uh, reveal that this is uh, or this text has been taken from or adopted from somewhere. And here you write down the page number. Maybe uh, the quote has been taken from page number number 37 of the particular text. So this is how you write down the quote of any piece of literature um, if you want to uh, 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 give proper evidence from the text. And then you start again, you start writing uh, your text uh, that is in your, uh, the elaboration of the quote in your own words. Or And these three, three things, uh, they are strongly tied up together and there is coherence in them. Uh, through the cohesive words um, uh, uh, which you can use while writing one good uh, um, um, literature essay. Now my pen is not working and let me uh, see that uh how to make it work for you. All right, I've written it down. Uh, so coherence and cohesion are two things that you are supposed to remember while you quote from the text and try to see that the, uh, the things that you have said uh, mingle with and uh, they are tied up with and they actually uh, um, are related with the quote that you are uh, mentioning in your text, in your literature essay. Now make sure that if there is no connection, your quote uh, that you are quoting from the text will look uh, irrelevant to the audience as well as uh, they will not be you know uh, appealed with what you have to say and uh, the uh, things that you are saying will not appeal to their logic. So you are supposed to keep in mind that while writing one good literature essay uh, whatever you are quoting should be uh, provided with the evidence and should be provided with the uh, proof that you can provide from the text. Remember to introduce the quote within a colon and use quotation marks as I have told you already. It is it is important to lay out quotes correctly because it shows you a professional, um, you are professional about what you are doing. So this, uh, if you are successful to write down the related quotes and uh, you are successful to mingle them and merge them in your uh, essay, it shows that you are one good professional writer. Keep them short, no more than three or four lines each. Now there is another thumb rule to remember while you are quoting from the text that your quotes should not be more than two to three lines because if you are quoting larger texts, that is not going to convey the meaning uh, to your uh, particular audience whom you want to target to. So uh, moving on to the next slide and let's see that what is the next thing that you are supposed to keep in mind while writing one uh, uh, literature essay. Now this uh, next thing is the selection. Now, uh, how do you select uh, uh, things from the text to retell or restate the story that has been already told by uh, the original author of any novel, any drama, any uh, poem, poem, any article, or and so on and so forth. So avoid the trap of just retelling uh, the story. Uh, the important thing is to, se to be selective in the way you use the text. Only refer to those parts of the book that help you answer the question. Now, which question you are talking about? 
talking about uh, the question in your thesis statement should be elaborated uh, thoroughly as to see that how you can relate um, uh, evidences and how you can uh, select uh, the kind of text that has been written by the original author in your essay so this is how you can uh, write down or you can uh, select for the relevant material uh, to be added and to be inserted in your literature essay now the next thing that you are supposed to remember is uh, to um, answer the question now it sounds obvious but it's so easy to forget the question and go off at the digression now sometimes uh, the uh, the common mistake the uh, writers usually make is to digress from their uh, point of view from the question that they have mentioned and they really want to work on uh, in other words they forget the direction where they want uh, to actually go and where they uh, what exactly they want to achieve after writing that particular kind of essay so it sounds it's obvious but it's so easy to forget the question um, uh, uh, of course uh, if we start thinking it thinking of it in our minds uh, we uh, can make it sure that uh, sometimes it is uh, obvious that we cannot forget uh, what uh, exactly we are writing about but once you sit down to write it happens that you forget about those things which you were supposed to insert um, and which you were supposed to answer uh, while writing and you start uh, talking about and writing about others stuff and other things when you have finished the paragraph read it uh, through and ask yourself that how does this contribute to the answering the question now your major question should be answered in every paragraph that you are uh, trying to answer so you one uh, whenever you are going to write any new paragraph um, that uh, is in support of your introduction uh, main thesis statement or your question statement uh, try to make sure and try to answer yourself with how this paragraph or how how uh, does this paragraph contribute to the answering of your uh, question or answering of your thesis statement if it doesn't change it so that it does address the question directly so um, uh, in this way once you are going to reread your paragraph to see that how and asking yourself that how they are related to your main thesis statement you can uh, uh, write down one good paragraph and then paragraphs and then uh, so on and uh, on and on to make sure that all of the, uh, them they uh, uh, prove to or they uh, um, support your main thesis statement if uh, uh, you are unable or if you are unsuccessful in elaborating uh, or in answering your question that how your paragraph is related to or how your paragraph actually supports uh, your uh, or answers your question uh, then you are unsuccessful and you should try to rewrite your paragraph trying to you know prove the topic statement that you have mentioned in every paragraph that you are writing so this is another technique of uh, writing down the literature essay now moving on to the writing of the conclusion so far we are done with writing the introduction writing the thesis statement then uh, writing down different paragraphs and then uh, providing the evidences the quotes answering the questions and then uh, text selection uh, from the um, whole uh, drama novel or any piece of text that you have selected for uh, analysis uh, for writing down one literature should i say another thing that you are supposed to keep in mind that at the end you write down the conclusion like for uh, every essay there is a conclusion so for literature essay there is also be a conclusion you write this conclusion in the end and at the end try to all the threads of your various points together so uh, um, uh, as many points that you were discussing in your uh, uh, thesis uh, statement and then your supporting paragraphs try to make sure that all of them they are connected and they are tied up together to see that for example this if this is your thesis statement and uh, uh, let me write it down for you so that you can understand that what exactly i am talking about and these are all your uh, supporting arguments we said that there should be at least uh, six evidences or six uh, major points or six distinct points related to the thesis statement uh, that should be worked on so uh, you have produces these six points with the evidences uh, and with the help of the quotes uh, that you can um, uh, write down one uh, good paragraph with. so all of them uh, these are your paragraphs 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, presenting um, uh, six distinct ideas or six uh, dif uh, different ideas which are tied up together i don't know what is the uh, all right 
distinct ideas which are tied up together to your uh, thesis statement now once you uh, decide to write down your conclusion try to make sure that your conclusion is going to uh, attach or is going to you know uh, link to all the ties that are there in your topic statement so in this way uh, your this part of your paragraph or this part of your essay which answers the uh, your thesis statement now this conclusion is basically based on um, these distinct points uh, that's the combination of these distinct points as well as it refers back to your thesis statement that we have uh, composed in our introduction so your conclusion basically uh, sums up or basically um, analyzes in uh, one or two lines that how successful were you in answering or improving your question uh, of your um, that was being presented in your introduction so this is how you are supposed to write down your conclusion now uh, once that we are done with writing your whole uh, 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 literature essay uh, there are a few more things that you are supposed to see while writing one good literature essay um, uh, the first thing that you are supposed to remember while writing one good literature essay is your um, style uh, that you are supposed to focus on uh, now this style of writing uh, uh, should be kept in mind uh, once you decide uh, on writing one formal um, kind of essay that is literature essay now since we are again again and again and again stressing on the point that your literature essay is supposed to be kept formal so uh, uh, try to avoid making it chatty or conversational if you imagine you are a lawyer in court trying to prove your point of view about a book that might help you to set the right tone now your tone should be the right one uh, as uh, you see a lawyer uh, standing in the court and trying to prove his case through evidences uh, if you stand on the same position and try to see that how you can produce one good literature essay by providing the strong evidences while keeping your tone formal um, uh, and uh, eye catching for the others so in this way you can write down um, with a very good style you can write down one good literature essay next thing that you are supposed to remember is to be creative now remember uh, you don't have to agree with others people other people's uh, points of view about literature if your ideas are original or different as long as you develop them clearly use evidence intelligently and argue persuasively your point will be respected now you are not going to depend on the ideas being uh, uh, represented by others and you are not going to rely on the information that is being introduced by the other try to uh, be creative and try to um, make your argument clear and try to make your analysis clear for the others and try to be unique now how do you do that you uh, can do that if you uh, make or uh, if you stick to the clarity um, uh, of your uh, 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 literature essay if you try to use evidences intelligently and you try to you know argue persuasively only in this way you can uh, or any other person can respect your um, uh, argument or your analysis that you are presenting in your literature essay we want literature to touch you personally and it will uh, often affect different people in different ways so you are supposed to be creative uh, as to you know uh, uh, touch down the emotion or of your reader and to make them see that how uh, much you can persuade them by providing your genuine ideas in a very clear and very concise way now uh, there is a checklist uh, that you are uh, supposed to uh, keep in mind and that you can paste on your working station or your study table uh, uh, before writing down one literature essay or uh, you can stick to all these points to make sure that uh, you have done or you have fulfilled all the requirements for writing one um, a good literature essay now put the full title of the question and date at the top now uh, your title and your question uh, 
should come uh, on the top of your paper. Uh, you have written uh, the clear paragraphs. You have produced evidence to prove all your points. You have used at least five quotes. Now see the minimum number of the quotes that you can use in your literature essay is five. And you have answered the question that is was there in your introduction um, and your thesis statement and you have helped yourself write down and answer that question in your conclusion clearly. So these are a few things that you are supposed to keep in mind. This is a checklist that you can keep in mind while writing one good literature essay. Now, uh, 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 there are some types of literature essays uh, that can be uh, used uh, or that can be uh, of a good example for you once you plan on writing down one good, liter good literature essay. Basically, literature essay revolves around those pieces of literature uh, which are the renowned ones and which uh, um, are being the most famous ones in their times. Now, uh, you can write down uh, novel essays based on the different elements that you want to pick on. Now, uh, once that you have decided to work on the novel essay, you can either work on theme, you can either work on plot, uh, setting, characters, uh, style, uh, can be the fair deviance for any essay. So, uh, there are different elements. In one essay, you can um, not uh, talk about different elements at a time. So, you are supposed to pick up one major element, either you talk about the setting, you talk about the theme, you talk about the character, you talk about the style, the language style that the writer has used uh, in his uh, drama, novel or any other piece of literature that you have picked up for the analysis. So keep in mind that these are the fair choices for um, uh, picking out any element uh, to be written down one good um, literature essay on. So order and emphasis will depend on your bias of questions. So your question is very important once you uh, start or once you think of planning or once you plan to write down one good literature essay. If the question is about theme, talk about it in the introduction, then discuss uh, one per paragraph, how to other, how the other aspects contribute to it and conclude by t talking about the success or otherwise of the um, author in communicating his or her theme. So you are going to thoroughly uh, discuss uh, your theme uh, in your introduction paragraph. Make sure that you write down the question statement in your introduction and related to that question you are going to write down each paragraph based on the evidences. Now once you have written down the paragraph make sure that you try to reread your paragraph as to answer your question that how this paragraph answers or helps you answer your main question that has been represented presented in your introduction. So if you are, if every paragraph of yours is successful in answering the question, um, only then you can write a very good literature essay. So this is how you connect your thoughts to uh, one particular point uh, revolving around one element or one chunk of uh, literature uh, aspect that you have picked up for writing down an analysis on. Now moving on to the next slide, um, let's see uh, the second type of the literature essay that is drama essay. Now again drama essay has got some elements that can be focused on. Again theme, plot, setting, uh, characters and uh, instead of picking up the style you can talk about the techniques of writing the drama. Now a drama uh, can have a language style as well as different techniques can be used for writing down one drama. So these are some uh, 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 fair uh, options for writing down uh, any drama essay. If the question is about technique, talk about how it affects the others uh, one per paragraph. So um, uh, whatever technique the writer has uh, used in his drama, you are supposed to comment on that in every paragraph uh, while uh, they answer your main question. Now uh, moving on to the next slide that talks about another interesting type of essay that is poetry essay which basically focuses on um, uh, your theme, your style and the technique. Now which includes such aspects of alliteration, um, uh, then assonance, uh, versification, rhyme, rhythm where appropriate. So this is how you can talk about the technique of writing down one poetry essay and you can talk about these different techniques that can be used in any uh, literature essay um, or any variety of literature poetry essay that is there. 
Now let's read from the slide carefully and try to see what writer has to say here and what, uh, what writer has to comment here um, and uh, how uh, to you know stick to writing down one good literature essay. The titles of the plays, novels, magazines, newspapers, journals, things that can uh, now moving on to the next slide, let's see that uh, what things that you are supposed to keep in mind while writing any literature essay like essay, um, uh, uh, any drama essay, any poetry essay, any uh, novel essay and so on and so forth. So let's try to see that what are the things that you can keep in mind while writing their uh, titles. So uh, while writing the titles of plays, novels, magazines, newspapers and uh, journals, things that can stand by themselves are uh, sometimes underlined or they are italicized so um, uh, uh, these uh, titles of any novel any drama any play any journal any newspaper uh, can stand on their own and they can be uh, differentiated from the other text uh, in a way that they can be written uh, in italicized forms uh, or they can be underlined if you are using a word processor or you have a fancy typewriter, use italics. But do not use both underlines and italics at the same time. Uh, some, some instructors have adopted rules about using italics that go back to a time when italics on a word processor could be hard to read. So you should ask your instructor if you can use italics. Underlines are always correct. So uh, you don't have to uh, worry about the underlines. Otherwise, uh, italics... Um, uh, can uh, not be uh, or they are you know sometimes not uh, preferred by your uh, t tutor or your teacher so try to make sure that before using these italics you ask your teacher that whether you can use them in your essay writing or not the titles of the poems short stories and articles th things that do not generally stand it by themselves require quotation marks so the uh, uh, um, the titles uh, which are the longer ones which can stand on their own uh, they can uh, um, uh, be written in uh, they can be either underlined or they can be written in italics however the titles of poems uh, like uh, fears and uh, the very short ones which can merge within the text should be uh, written within the inverted commas as to highlight that how um, are you uh, you talking about one particular thing so that was about uh, some kinds of uh, things that you are supposed to keep in mind while writing the literature essays. Now there are tools of the trade, subjects and verbs that you are supposed to uh, use correctly while writing the literature essay. Now see uh, some examples and let's try to see that how do you do that. Whenever possible, use strong subjects and active constructions rather than weak verbal nouns and abstractions and weak passives uh, or linking verbs. Uh, in, like for example, instead of, uh, instead of uh, Petrochio denial of Kate or her basic necessities would, some, would seem cruel and harsh. Now instead of writing this one, you should try this one out. Uh, by denying Kate the basic necessities of life, Petrochio uh, appears cruel and harsh but he says that he is just putting on an act so that is a simple way of saying instead of you know merging down the subject and verbs together don't forget that words and even phrases can serve as strong sentence subjects Petrochio's I'll uh, buckler the against a million injects an unexpectedly chivalric note especially since it follows hard on the heels of his seemingly ungentle manly behavior now see uh, this is uh, uh, kind of you know uh, uh, conveying the different kinds of the phrases like injects an unexpectedly chivalric note and seemingly ungentlemanly un gentlemanly behavior on the heels of and these kind of short phrases can stand on their own and then they can you know lengthen your uh, strength of the um, paragraph of your uh, strengthen the length of your text and they can serve as strong uh, sentence subject and remember use regular quotation marks unless you are quoting material that contains a quotation itself so so um, uh, you are supposed to not forget uh, mention down the quotation marks if you are quoting uh, down anything from the text. 
Now there are some topics uh, that uh, you can work or you can uh, on which you can write on while writing or while picking up for writing one good literature essay. Now literature essay topics help you to narrow down on the central idea or detail of anything. It is important to choose the essay tie topics you are interested in. Below are the examples of good literature essay topics. The first one uh, is let's uh, st uh, start with the first one. Why does Hamlet delay? taking revenge on Claudius. Now if you have read the, uh, I hope that you have read uh, Hamlet in your drama one and uh, you would have seen that how does Hamlet delay taking revenge on Claudius. Now this is one particular element being taken from the drama uh, presented by Shakespeare that why Hamlet uh, uh, delayed, uh, kept on delaying uh, taking his revenge uh, on Claudius. The characters of Hamlet and Horatio why did Ophelia uh, committed uh, commit a suicide? Uh, now these things, uh, these three things, they are particularly related to Hamlet. Now see that from how many elements and from how many angles you can talk about one particular thing. The rules of marriage in 14th century, the tragic love of Romeo and Juliet, um, Pushkin in the Russian literature, the poetry that has a special meaning for you and so on and so forth. So this is how you can uh, pick up um, any uh, um, particular topic to write down once you decide on writing down one good literature essay. So uh, that was a list of topics on which you can uh, write one good literature essay. Now moving on to the next slide, as you can see that we are going to take one example of Hamlet, um, the character of Hamlet in his drama Hamlet and uh, uh, we are going to see uh, one uh, good example uh, of how the writer uh, presents uh, the character of Hamlet from uh, the particular point of view. Now let's click on the hyperlink and now let's uh, try to read out uh, uh, this uh, text that has been taken um, uh, that was written by William Hazlitt uh, who has uh talked about different characters of Shakespeare plays and uh, um, this uh, series of his essays was published in 1817 and in this particular chapter he talks about that is that was basically the chapter number one of his uh, essay and in this essay he particularly talks about the character of Hamlet uh, in uh, Shakespeare's drama Hamlet. Now uh, let's uh, start reading that and let's now try to see that how um, he has tried to you know, um, uh, develop the understanding of the reader towards the character of Hamlet in his essay. Now I will read from the text and you have to listen to me carefully. This is that Hamlet the Dane whom we read of in our youth um, and whom we may be said almost remember in our after years. Now if you see this, uh, um, these numbers written in the parenthesis, these are basically the page numbers from where um, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, from where the writer is quoting from the text. Now this is that Hamlet the Dane, that one he's taken from the text and um, uh, our after years. Now your quotation is to come after uh, you uh, mention the page numbers in your uh, parenthesis. Who uh, he who made that famous soliloquy on life? Now this is how he tries to you know explain the character of the Hamlet who gave the advice to the players who thought this goodly frame the earth as a trial and this brave oh air hanging. Uh, Fir mountain and the ear, this majestical roof fretted with golden fire. Now see how he is trying to uh, explain the character of Hamlet. Now let's uh, start reading from here. The friend of Horatio, the lover of Ophelia, he that mad and sent to England, uh, the slow avenger of his father's death, who lived at the court of Horvendilas 500 years before we were born. But all those, all who thoughts we seem to know as well as we do our own because we have read them in Shakespeare. So um, uh, this is how the writer tries to explain the character of Hamlet in his first paragraph and this is how he explains that what exactly he is going to talk about. He is particularly going to talk about the uh, Hamlet's character uh, throughout his essay. Hamlet is a name, his speeches and sayings but the idle uh, coinage of poet's brain. What then 
आर आर दे नॉट रियल दे आर एज रियल एज आर ओन थॉट देर रियालिटी इन देर रीडर्स माइंड इट इज वी हु आर हेमलेट दिस प्ले हैज प्रोफिटिक ट्रूथ विच इज अब दैट ऑफ द हिस्ट्री नाउ सी दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दिथ राइटर यूज इज नाउ वी आर टू फोकस ऑन सम ऑफ द इन्वर्टेड कॉमर्स एंड सम ऑफ द कोटेशन दैट द राइटर यूज इज फ्रॉम विद इन द टेक्सट नाउ सी एंड ट्राई टू रीड दैम हु एवर हैज बॉर्न अबाउट विद हिम द क्लाउड did bro of reflection and thought himself too much id son now see he is quoting from the text and he is trying to uh, tell you um, uh, that how he is supporting uh, his arguments from the text now let's move on and let me show you something that i have picked up to show you while um, he tries to you know uh, uh, define the um, uh, character of hamlet now here you go uh, the text that i have selected for uh, you people to see that how the writer actually uh, states the character of uh, hamlet and how he uh, explains his soliloquy um, uh, of uh, to be or not to be uh, now there are so many texts as you can see uh, this one written here and uh, the the one that was written above that now let's try to read that how uh, he merges uh, his previous paragraph uh, with the next one uh, in between the text now particularly reading from the lines that have been taken from the text let's try to read uh, from the texts uh, that are related and that particularly talk about the two um, uh, or they try to you know uh, link uh, the text together uh, now uh, reading from here uh, he is the prince of philosophical uh, speculators and because he cannot have the revenge perfect according to most refined idea his wish can form he declines it altogether so he sculp uh, sculps um, to trust the suggestion of the ghost uh, contrives the scene of the play to have surer proof of his uncle's guilt and then rest satisfied with the confirmation of his uh, suspicions and the success of experiment instead of acting upon it yet he is sensible of his own weakness taxes himself with it and tries to reason himself out of it now let's read from the uh, uh, text how shakespeare has presented it we will begin from here how all occasions to inform against me and spur my dull revenge what is a man if his chief good and market of his time be but to sleep and feed a beast no more sure he that made us with a such a large discourse looking before and after Uh, gave us not that capability uh, that capability and god like reason to first in us ashan now whether it be be style oblivion or some craven sculpture of thinking too precisely o oh, the event a thought which quartered hath but one part wisdom and ever three parts covered i don't know Sit I have cause and will and strengthen and means to do it examples gross as earth exhort me the mo- major portion is written in the old english that cannot be understandable by the reader uh, but the writer has tried to you know um, explain that in the next paragraph where uh, the uh, hamlet uh, soliloquy ends by saying to hide the slain o oh, from the time forth my thoughts be bloody or nothing worth Now still he does nothing in this very speculation of his own infirmity only affords him another occasion of indulging it now he was unable to murder claudius uh, the one person who married his mother hamlet's mother he wanted to kill that person and take his life and now he was unable to do that because of some reasons and this uh, soliloquy of uh, hamlet is uh, related to uh, the, the same uh, reference so uh, see how uh, the writer picks up from the text to support his uh, arguments and to support his points now moving on uh, to the end of uh, uh, the essay um, he is conducted now let's uh, start reading from here i have highlighted it for you so that you can see that uh, he could neither marry ophelia nor wonder her mind nor wound her mind by explaining the cause of his alienation which he durst hardly 
truth trust himself to think of it would have taken him years to have come to direct explanation on the point in the harassed state of his mind he could not have done much otherwise than he did his conduct does not contradict what he says when he sees her funeral now he says i loved ophelia 40000 brothers could not with all their quantity of love make up my sum now nothing can be more affecting or beautiful than queen's um, apostrophe to ophelia on throwing flowers in the grave sweets to the sweet farewell scattering flowers i hope thou shouldn't have been my hamlet's wife i thought thy bride I thought thy bride to have checked sweet maid and not to have stew thy grave now uh, this is how uh, the writer tries to quote from the text that uh, how um, the and this uh, um, mourner of uh, or the death of uh, ophelia was mourned by hamlet and his mother shakespeare was thoroughly a master of mixed motifs of human character and he um, here shows us the queen uh, who was the criminal in some respect not without sensibility and affection in their relations now let's try to read the end of the essay that how a writer uh, write down uh, writes down the closing paragraph um, we do not like to see our authors play acted and least uh, of all hamlet there is no play that suffers so much in being transferred to the stage hamlet himself seems hardly capable of being acted mr campbell and uh, unavoidably fails in the character from a want of ease and variety the character of hamlet is man is armor with a determined inventory of purpose in an undeviating straight line which is as remote for the natural grace and refined susceptibility of the character as a sharp angels and abrupt starts which mr keen introduces into part mr keen's hamlet is uh, as much too uh, splenetic and rash as mr campbell's is too deliberate and formal his manner is too strong and pointed he throws a severity approaching governess into common observations and answers there is nothing of this in hamlet he is at it were wrapped up with his reflections and only thinks aloud there should therefore be no attempt to impress what he says upon others by studied um, uh, exaggeration of emphasis or manner no taking at his hearers there should be as much of the gentleman and scholar as possible infused into the part and a little of the actor a pensive air of sadness should sit reluctantly upon his brow but no appearance of fixed and sullen gloom he is full of weakness and melancholy but there is no harshness in his nature he is most amiable of mean misanthropes so this is how the writer ends up his essay by you know uh, as you can see that how the writer has uh, uh, tried to uh, Uh, you know uh, compare two different characters of mr campbell with the hamlet yet he proves that the uh, hamlet was a unique one there was no harshness uh, in his character but uh, yet he was the most uh, um, uh, amiable of the misanthropes who uh, uh, who was actually suffering from uh, the pain inside him and uh, see how beautifully the writer has uh, uh, explained it well now coming back to uh, our uh, second example that is uh, um, uh, uh, chaucer's uh, how chaucer transformed every genre he used uh, now let's quickly see that how the writer has written that the writer basically uh, starts talking from the canterbury tales uh, and starts saying that it is an undoubtedly a uh, richly textured work that uh, draws in and combines many different elements uh, together so uh, now starting up with this line he starts talking about that how uh, chaucer has uh, or how Uh, this uh, chaucer transformed every genre he used uh, till the end he keeps on talking and there are so many paragraphs that he kept talking while writing down uh, this essay uh, let's uh, only read the last paragraph uh, in which the author has uh, tried to you know um, uh, tell that how uh, um, uh, chaucer has transformed uh, 
every of his work um, uh, into uh, uh, some genre of uh, into some different genre adhering to convention then is illustrated as a negative approach one which resulted in death with um, in death without allowing for the further possibilities of choice that allow in the story this is highly appropriate with the tale which uh, contradicts the values of the earlier romance in this sense Chaucer is not so much transforming every genre he had to had but turning them into uh, themselves blending morphing and deconstructing them until they resist all meaning in order to create a work on a greater scale which truly supersedes the boundary of such simple categori um, uh, categorization so see uh, the writer denies the fact that the Chaucer has uh, transformed every work that he has used he has taken one particular example of the Canterbury Tales and he tries to prove and he tries to disprove that the uh, Chaucer has uh, uh, done uh, or transformed every genre of writing that he has made. Uh, he uh, is of a solid opinion that he has uh, somewhat uh, to create his work on the greater scale. He has uh, uh, try to use these uh, simple categorizations of his work and uh, thus made his essay uh, look uh, different. So that was your example number two. You can, uh, the uh, writing down one literature essay is the basic thing that you are supposed to do in your uh, major course or that is going to be the target of your course. Now to write down one good literature essay you are supposed to keep in mind all those points that we have discussed in our literature essay. Remember that you are going to Brighten the uh, writer's, uh, the genuine writer's point of view in your essay and try to make it unique and uh, different from uh, the work of the original writer. Today we have discussed about uh, the last uh, type of literature, the, uh, li uh, the last type of essay that is known as literature essay. We have also seen the different parts of literature essay that how introduction, body parts and the paragraphs should look like. Then we have thoroughly discussed that how uh, uh, the literature essay looks like and how you can produce one literature essay. Then uh, we have also stick to the uh, literature checklist for writing your essay. We have discussed some types of literature essays and uh, we have also uh, discussed on uh, how, what kind of topics you can pick for writing down one good literature essay. We have discussed one example of Hamlet and then another example that how Chaucer transformed uh, every work he uh, used um, uh, and uh, this brings us to the end of today's lecture. Here is a list of references from where the information was being downloaded. Uh, you can uh, uh, surf on internet to see different examples of uh, uh, essay, literature essay as uh, we hadn't had much time to discuss uh, them in detail. Uh, mostly uh, literature is written in uh, old English that was pre presented in the old times um, uh, of uh, Shakespeare. So uh, we cannot guarantee uh, the classics uh, to be explained in one class because uh, maybe you have to take one uh, basic course uh, for writing down uh, for uh, reading down one uh, piece of literature but you can if you have read a piece of literature that has appealed to you uh, you can pick up one to write down one good literature essay on so with that I wish you a very good luck for your essay writing skills since we are done with uh, all our types of essays and how you are supposed to attempt uh, essays in your um while uh, you select one topic to do so. Uh, in the next class I'll see you again with a very uh, good topic of uh, exams uh, that you are supposed to keep in mind while uh, you uh, uh, think of uh, attempting all the essays in your exam. So I'll give you some tips that how you're supposed to attempt essays in your exam. Uh, you are not to worry because uh, sometimes you worry because uh, essay is a very lengthy thing uh, to, be, to do uh, and it is very time taking. But I hope that you are, once uh, I had been telling you about each essay type, you have learned how to um you know use your uh, skills uh, to create one uh, within a very short time uh, so now that you have practiced we will see that how you can divide your time in the exam uh, and you can uh, decide to write down your essay out of three in one hour uh, once you are writing down in your exam so with that I wish you uh, a very happy day and a very happy life ahead and I'll see you in the next class uh, after after that we will uh, start our presentation skills uh, thoroughly
So with that, I see you, I see you a very uh, happy day and a goodbye.